Good morning, everybody. So I woke up today and felt really, really good. I stretched on the physio ball last night. And um, this is all relaxed, so I just wanted to show you that it doesn't spasm all the time. And you can see that when I'm talking, it doesn't really um, have that flinching, if you will. And so basically, um, I have just uh, snow plowed or whatever you call um, off my driveway. And today I felt so good that I actually went and did everybody else's driveway that I could um, because it was only like an inch and a half of snow. And so I think that on my good days, uh, I'm still going to uh, record and everything else. And then when I have my bad days, I'll record as well. And you'll see that CRPS, uh, how it affects my life and uh, what I'm doing about it. Uh, I just wanted to share also, if you have CRPS, the biggest thing I have, um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Under Armour, but <clears throat> they have the least amount of uh, pull when you move. So I have this jacket, which is um, powder horn, and it keeps me really, really warm. And so with CRPS, um, basically if you're wet or cold, it will uh, bring like shivers up your spine. Like when I get cold, basically, it takes the shivers and it kind of sends spikes up my spine. That's like the only way I can kind of describe it. And then it yaks my speech. So when I stutter and everything, it's mostly because my brain is trying to bypass the pain, I guess. Maybe that's probably how I would try to explain it. And then when the uh, spasms come, it kind of just... So that's CRPS, you know, I mean, that's the real, that's the real deal. So on my good days, I'm going to um, show you, I'm just going to show you how I, how I, how I am. I'm not going to open that door though, because um, it is cold. So I just wanted to show you though, that this is the jacket that I wear. And then like something like this, where it has this kind of material. Uh, the reason I have that is because there's only one line and when you move, it, it, it doesn't move. So it actually stays straight and the CRPS, the problem is if it moves or if there's any uh, cold air on there, it actually really like penetrates the spine. And so it's really important to keep warm and it's really important to keep dry as well. And so if you're diabetic, what I've learned is that you have to be ready in these snowstorms, you know, and I'll be very honest, I was not ready. Uh, I didn't think that we were going to get this much snow. And so if you're prepared for it, then that's great. But if you're not, then that's not so great. So, hi, John Hall. And hi, Shane. Hi, Alfonso. So I just wanted to say hello and shout out to everybody. I was just talking about CRPS and wondering, you know, woke up today and I felt really good. Um, I am a big proponent of CBD. I just wanted to mention that again. Um, it's the only thing that really works for me. Uh, I don't understand why we can't get this legalized for all of the United States since we did vote on it, uh, especially in Oregon. Oregon and Colorado uh, and California, I believe. I'm not sure about California. I don't know the regulations and laws. However, I'm gonna tell you that I'm in Oregon, and um, the reason I moved here was uh, because I could actually be free and, uh, for the first time, really take a deep breath and feel like I'm not in Texas anymore, and I don't think I'll get <clears throat> the treatment that I ever got at San Antonio. When I came here, everybody was horrified. And so I just wanted to say that I lost 30 pounds in five weeks at the San Antonio VA Hospital. John Hinchy. Dr. John L. Hinchy, who works in the orthopedic center, I don't believe you should be working anymore. And I would like to say that people are afraid to say that Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton are uh, corrupt. I'm not afraid, okay? I was serving during Bosnia and Croatia, and I want my records to state that I was in HHT, 26 CAV, and I did go to Croatia. I was in Bosnia. I want my records straight. Oh, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton are in on it, and that's why I'm glad that you're not president, because the truth will come out. Whether I live for a year, two years, five years, six years, at least I'll speak my truth. And um, 
I'll let the record state for themselves. You know, there's a judge who already um, helped me out and basically set me free, I guess. And I don't even know if, if it's a freedom with myself because I think it's really, um, I think I freed myself by saying, whatever happens at this point, it doesn't matter. Like, I know I'm speaking my truth. I can't speak anybody else's truth. I know there's a lot of veterans suffering. Um, I can only speak my truth, and then I can speak my truth for people that don't have a voice. Um, unfortunately, uh, people don't like to talk about this. People think that this is so crazy that we make it up because we're veterans and we have no idea what's going on. I would really love for civilians to do something that Isaac stills in back. I can't take the credit for this one, but, but he can. Um, and I'll tell you about it. It's called Adopt a Veteran. And it's basically civilians going into the VA and seeing how corrupt it really, really is. Um, I've been getting stuff that says, uh, don't mess with Texas. It's not about Texas, you guys. This is about doing what's right. This, I, I took a Hippocratic oath, and I take my oath very seriously. I am a trauma nurse, and I will never give that up. Even when I had one leg, I, I forgot that I had it, and my whole left side was out. And, you know, it's embarrassing, but I was at Christmas dinner, and I saw two kids fall, and I didn't remember that I don't have my left side. And so I literally stood up, went to grab the kids, and I fell flat on my face. Uh, Merry Christmas. So... This is what I'm going to tell you. You can fall, but you always can get up. There's somehow, some way you can get up. I had one leg and one side for a very long time. So I used to use the triangle bar. And you can actually do exercises at that point. At some point, I would love to get like a hospital bed somewhere. And I can show exercises of how you can um, really work yourself in, in your bed, actually. And there is a way to, to lose weight in the bed. Um, I know that's crazy, uh, but, and it's not sexual either, so, so don't go there. Uh, no, it's not. So, this is what I wanted to tell you. Um, hi, John Hall, E Battery, 1st Battalion, 151, nice. Bosnia, 96, right on, me too. So, I was in Tuzla West, went to Tuzla, Maine sometimes, Bedrock, I don't know if anybody knows where our Bedrock is. Um, shout out to Donnelly, who I remember is there, uh, Missy, who is there, uh, Patton, Burton, Dawsonback, Royster, uh, Sims. I know you guys are out there. I just can't, I don't remember all your guys' names right now. If I had you in front of me, I'd be like, you, 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 not you. So I just want to let you know that I'm not afraid to let you know that Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton the truth needs to come out about 1996, actually. That's all I want to say. And I want them to denote that on my records that I was in Croatia and Bosnia, which are, it's not on my DD-214. So while I'm sitting here for 22 years trying to get help, veterans every day are trying to get help, and civilians can't understand, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Let me explain something. I'm in Deschutes County, which is four hours or so from Portland, Oregon. Not complaining at all, because actually I love not being close to any VA or any military, because nobody knows anything out here, which I completely love. Um, because it set me up for um, accepting love, which is really weird, in a different way. Like, uh, two days ago I, I fell on my, on my walking lawnmower, and I just felt like a failure. Uh, honestly, I don't know why I felt like a failure when I fell. I guess uh, I feel like I should be completely strong and win for everybody. And that just doesn't work. And so I woke up today and it was something different. It was I wanted to speak um, about the veterans, but I also wanted to speak about CRPS. And then um, open it up for questions and anything that you guys wanted to know. Um... So it says open it up for conversation, and I'm really not sure what what that means. So I'm just going to keep talking, and you guys can um, ask me anything you want. And then I can come back later, or we can do this every couple. 
So, hi Matt. It's just telling uh, people that I woke up with wild hair and um, was doing something different today and decided that I wanted to um, just let people know that my left side is getting better. Uh, I still walk like a penguin like this. And so wall walking is this, which means you hold, literally hold on to the wall and then you can grab little corners. So um, if you have one side or if you've had a stroke, you can actually uh, one foot it down the hallway. And I know this sounds nuts, but it actually does work. Uh, and I hop. So I used to hop on this right leg all the time. And uh, thank God I did track in high school. Holy cow. Uh, so this is my beast leg because my left leg was my lead leg. So um, I really need to get my beast leg and my lead leg back. So I have about an inch to go. And it's my Achilles. So my Achilles tent, uh, Achilles uh, on the bottom, uh, I need one, about one inch. So that's about this high. So I walk like this. Just for now. Hopefully... Uh, I've been saying that for two years, but hopefully I hope you, it'll be, uh, it's getting better. I mean, it used to be completely like this. So um, basically what happened uh, in a very short note, basically, is when I was casted, they casted it this way. And every two weeks, they'd grab it and just crank it hard and do some crazy stuff. Matt Smock was there during one of the times, and this is what I wanted to propose, that <clears throat> we stop blaming... Trump and, and, and Russia and all these other people because it's just a delay into seeing what's going on. So if we really, really want to stand up, stand up for the veterans because we're not getting any help. And it seems like for some reason prisoners get better help than we do. And I worked at a level one trauma center and they really did get better care than I did. Um, I just found out that some dude or some girl sorry guys I'm trying to straight that out I just found out that some dude got a sex change and he was a prisoner how do I feel about that I'll tell you how I feel about that I don't think that they should get the care as well as well as as we do um, or I do think that they should get the care that that they need but I don't think that they should come before veterans and I don't think that they should become uh, before the people that need it because I think that this is politically incorrect for me saying this, but I really don't care. Like, I'm not politically correct. I don't think that veterans should have to suffer upon waiting for care and then a prisoner gets a sex change. Uh, and if that's politically incorrect, I really don't care. Uh, that's just how I feel. I think that our veterans get shit care. Um, I was at Walter Reed in 1996, and Fox actually, uh, Fox News is doing something on... Um, there was, there's this guy who has microfragments from his head to his toes. I just wanted to say this really quick before I get cut off because somehow my, my, some of my pages are getting taken off by Facebook because they said that uh, I, I, I'm doing too much activity. I'm like, well, aren't I supposed to be doing activity on Facebook? So I don't really understand that. So I couldn't really uh, – people were asking if I could tag them on my page and just add them to my page. No. Uh, apparently I can't add you to my page and I, apparently I can't do a new chat so I tried uh, yesterday when somebody asked me to and I can't so uh, Facebook decided that it said I did too much I was doing too much activity yesterday so uh, I guess I've gotten like the Facebook punishment wall or something like that so if you guys can <laughs> contact Facebook I I wrote them a little note and it was it was a little happy note but it was kind of like what the hell are you doing like yeah it's supposed to be active that's what Facebook is about I thought so I guess it's not really freedom of speech when they when they uh, hear that something about Bosnia and Croatia and hear the real truth that our veterans are getting shit care. Um, a friend of mine just told me to actually speak about this, and I don't know exactly how I'm try I'm trying to put this the way that um, he told me he's like be nice when you say this, and I, I don't know how to be nice about this. Um, there are men that are getting raped right now. There are men that can't speak up because they feel their pride is too hard, their pride is too high. They don't want to ever seem like they're low or I'm not I'm not weak. 
by any means. Uh, but when you have four and five other uh, people, you can do what you will, but there are a lot of men that are suffering as well. So it's not just women. And I just, I didn't want to bring the whole sexuality in this because I wanted to make sure that people didn't say, oh, well, she's talking about getting raped. I'm not talking about the getting raped. I'm talking about men and women that are going to the VA and they're getting raped. There are men and women right now. There are veterans that are suffering right now. I'm tired of our veterans suffering because nobody wants to say anything. People are scared right now. The vets are scared. Look up Kerrville. It's like kind of a mental institution or something like that. Well, the people at San Antonio told us, my, me and my friend who are waiting, uh, don't go in there. Don't let her go in there. I was already in. And uh, they had told my friend, don't let her go in there. They'll kill her. And so this is, this is true. You can fact check me all you want. I don't care. I have nothing to lose. I basically went to Texas and I have people telling me right now that um, I should shut my mouth and I should shut the fuck up. I won't shut the fuck up. That just pisses me off and makes me want to go on a rampage and get like more proof to show you that I'm not messing around anymore. Like I have nothing that I need to say about what I've done in my past. So I already know what I've done and the records will show. All they have to do is an investigation. I have nothing to hide. I'm not the one who changed my records, you guys. There are things that go on in the military that you just can't understand if you're a civilian. So I would vow and guess that a lot of civilians don't understand when you're in the military and when you're in the VA hospital, there is no getting out. I tried. I, ca I called the representative. I was asking me, uh, I think John was asking me, well, did you contact IG? I contacted IG. Congress. I went through the whole chain. Then I talked to Gloria Aldred or whatever, who's supposed to be like represent women. Oh, they didn't want to talk to me after it was about Clinton. So um, I vow to, to say that Trump will do better. And I don't want Clinton anywhere near any of our stuff because I, obviously she proved she can't do the, do the job. And I don't know why Obama's crying right now, because I thought this was about our country coming together to unite. Like somehow maybe he forgot the message or did he forget what he said? Because if he would have won and Hillary would have won, boy, this would have been totally different. We would have been singing and dancing, but now we're not. So didn't want to get that political about it. But this is coconut milk, by the way. Or no, this one's cashew. My mouth is dry. I actually like... Um, cashew milk and I like this kind of brand just because it's creamier and better and doesn't taste like a bunch of water. You can actually make this stuff yourself by sticking nuts in water and just leaving it in um, overnight and that's how they make it. Uh, that's how I found out. So if you want to make it, you stick it in a jar, stick nuts in water and, it, and then that's how you get it. Sean Caravelli, what the fuck? Uh, what, 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 what the fuck for what? Tell me what the fuck for what. Uh, what's your question? Uh, oops, I mean, uh, where's the fun <laughs> if the kids are watching? Man, that F word, I'm sorry, you guys. I This is just sometimes it really is the best word for everything. Uh, so if you have questions about what I did or where I'm at uh, as far as my injuries go, my spinal cord, just ask and I don't mind. I'll let you know. Um... I have no problems hiding what I've done. There's nothing that I've done that's wrong. Uh, I don't, I'm not ashamed of what I've done. I was a combat medic. The last thing I remember was taking somebody, putting them on my shoulder, and she, was, she had oil in her eye. Last time I checked, it was life or limb. So I evac'd her out. I got sick in Croatia. I had appendicitis and pancreatitis at the same time. I wasn't allowed to go to sick call. That's, that's the basic small answer for it. I was in Tuzla West. And so I waited three days because that was, sick. That was um, my duty, was basically guard duty for 24 hours. And because I had a big mouth, um, which was speaking up for my soldiers because one of them had um, like nastiness on his feet. It was like gnarly. So I was the medic taking care of feet. And uh, we did nine Megan, which I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's a hundred mile road march with your rucksack on your back, 25 miles a day uh, for four days. <clears throat> I don't know if it's, we start in Grafenbeer or something like that. 
I, th I can't remember. Somebody would remember if, we, if it's called Nijmegen. I was in Illesheim, which is um, in Germany, and that's where I was stationed at. And there's a place called Bad Winsheim, which is B-A-D. And the W's in Germany are V, so it's Bad Winsheim. Um, hello. And that's just those, yeah. So I do speak German, um, but uh, it gets obviously intermingled with my English. And then I try to learn Swedish and Spanish right now. So uh, everything's all crackerjacked in my brain <laughs> with that, trying to figure out languages. But um, English for some, or Spanish for some reason is really, really hard. I don't know, maybe because it's backwards. My brain is already backwards. But I just want to let you know that the reason I don't want Hillary Clinton uh, or Obama even penetrating this is because right now the veterans are suffering. And I have a friend of mine who's a man who just got raped. And I'm not going to be quiet anymore. It's disgusting to me how this VA system can get away with this. And I've been told my benefits will get taken away if I don't shut up. Um, this and that. I would love for civilians to take on what Isaac Stolzenbach, his idea is great, actually. It's perfect. Civilians need to go inside the VA. Or how about we get Obama to, you know, get his care there. Go to San Antonio VA hospital and get messed up. You know, our soldiers are coming home, you guys. There's thousands of our soldiers coming home. What I'm worried about is them coming home and having no resources. And I'm also worried about... Uh, them coming home and not being able to speak up because they're so fucking scared that this system has got them so blocked that it's not right. And I'm just going to get out of this light. I don't know how to work MacBook Pro. I just got the stupid thing. Um, I'm sure it's not stupid. I'm sure it's great. But as soon as I figure out how to do the live thing on there, I'd be better. Um, somebody asked me to get a, a, a thingy, um, a camera to that goes, uh, how you say? Uh, online at the same time. I don't know how to do all that. Uh, I'm going to turn the chat off really quick. Thanks, you guys. Just turning the chat off for now. Um, but we are live. Um, hi. Preach it. Thank you. I love that. Guten Morgen. Yes, good morning. Good morning to you. That means good morning in German. So I also am learning Swedish right now. And... Um, so sometimes my language uh, get mess, gets messed up and gets um, intermingled. So today's a good day. I woke up with a wild hair and I decided to uh, s not snow glow. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. My, my, my driveway, that's what I did. <laughs> I went, mm. And then I got somebody else's driveway because I felt good. Then I fell on my ass. <laughs> felt even better it was nice and humbling and um today's a warm day so it feels really good when it's warm with crps you can at least wear something like this and like i said under armor uh that brand i'm not uh a, I, i'm not uh getting paid for this i'm just telling you that that brand is actually really really good especially their hats because they don't have that inner lining here that scratches your face anything that scratches or like abrasive or it's hard makes it feel like a razor blade in your spinal cord and that's pretty much dramatic and that's the only way that i can think of it crps is gnarly i wish that there was somebody um i'll, I'll post more about crps it's kind of a gnarly disease so uh brad wallace good morning good morning good morning hi everybody so I just wanted to ask if anybody had questions uh, or if you were lost, like I was yesterday, I was lost in the sauce. So if you want to ask me any questions, you can. And if you don't have the chance to um, watch it, then definitely uh, watch this later and you'll understand why there's good days and bad days. And so I just want to invite people, but I don't know how to do this. It says start a conversation. But then when you press that little button, nothing happens. So Samsung Galaxy 7 and its greatness, uh, at least this one doesn't blow up. I asked them, I, they said, what phone do you want? I'm like, uh, the one that doesn't blow up. How about that? <laughs> so I guess I got Galaxy S7, but uh, Verizon isn't really that great. They, they shimmy your money, and then they make you do all these crazy things that it drives you nuts because it's the only freaking company that actually you can hear from because Sprint... I get no reception. So that whole 1%, where are, where are you now? I don't believe that. I had Sprint for 17 years, and they sucked. So 
Unfortunately, we're all stuck with Verizon, even though we hate it. Okay, we don't hate it, but we hate it sometimes. Um, but Verizon does have a lot of um, connectivity, unfortunately. In the mountains, I can get more coverage than I can Sprint. Sprint, <clears throat> I had for 17 years, and I put them on Fort Carson base, as a matter of fact. We, um, Trina Carson helped me with this marketing, so I wanted to give her credit as well. Um, Trina, Trina, Trina K. Hi, Trina K. Uh, just want to say hi. So I am silly, and that's just because I think that life is way too short to be so serious. And I'm not a very serious person. I don't think I really ever have been. Um, I remember in track, everybody saying, why are you so damn happy? Because we'd be running at 6.30 in the morning, and we'd be like, what's up? Let's go. And they hated me. <laughs> they hated to love me. But... You know, I still love you guys, and uh, I just want to give a shout out to the people that were in high school with me. I see you on, <laughs> I see you on here, and I appreciate you watching as well. Um, anybody from Antioch High School, hello, and um, Pittsburgh High School as well, and the people we competed against, uh, WCAP with uh, um, Olympic Training Center. Uh, I talked to some people yesterday. Hi, Sky. Just want to say congratulations on your medal. You are awesome Christian Griffith if you can hear this at some point you rock you are solid and um, I wish you the best Mark Salvador if you're on here somewhere or when you do see this I would recommend anybody that is in um, I think you're in Westminster or Broomfield somewhere on there uh, he could put my uh, his address but I definitely recommend if you are into Krav Maga to go to one in Broomfield because they're awesome and he's a great instructor so, anybody have any questions that I can answer? Riverside, California, nice to meet you. We'll follow. Thanks, Alfonso. You're looking great, John. Thank you. Um, so, I bet that people don't understand about the veteran stuff or diabetes or um, the CRPS. So, if you have any questions about that, you can leave it on the little message thing, and I can always get those later. So... Thank you for watching, and I'll be on probably a little later because I think I'm supposed to go on around noon. Um, so I will see you guys again uh, probably around 12 if you want to. All right, thanks. Bye.